Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will talk about how you can take uh, differential backups uh, within the SQL Server application. And before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and click on the subscribe button uh, below this video to subscribe to my channel. And uh, right next to subscribe button there is a bell icon, you can click on that and select the all notifications to get, an, get updates regarding all my future videos. So now let's go back to our topic which is uh, differential database backups in SQL Server so let's quickly move on to our notes so here we are talking about differential database backups so there are certain prerequisites uh, before we can take the differential backups so it requires a full database backup to be taken before we take any differential database backup uh, so if, our, uh, if we haven't backed up a database yet so first we need to take a full database backup before we can create any differential backups for that database. And uh, th there is basically a recommendation to set a full backup at the weekly intervals. And between that weekly interval we should uh, configure daily differential backups. Otherwise what would happen if we don't do it like this if we don't uh, set up the backup intervals for full database backup what will happen is uh, this will create a large differential backups for us which will take uh, more time to restore so it is always suggested to configure uh, full uh, database backups at the weekly interval and between that weekly interval we can configure a differential database backups on daily basis now let's go to go towards uh, the demo of this section which will tell uh, how you can create a differential database backups uh, within sql server so let me uh, trigger the sql uh, server management studio application where we will take the differential database backup So let's wait for it to open. So once SQL Server gets opened, uh, we need to connect to the database server and to the instance. So here we are connecting to a database server default instance. So I'm connecting to it and expand on the databases. You may select any of the user databases, there are multiple uh, given over here. So you may select any of these databases and we need to, so for example if I want to take uh, Northwind differential backup, so I need to right click on that and go to task and do uh, select the backup option. So uh, let me tell you first that you can take differential backup for any of the recovery models. So recovery model of a database you can check from properties of the database. So for example I am checking the properties of the Northwind database under the options section. Uh, it shows you the recovery model so it's set to simple. Uh, there is full and bulk log logged uh, recovery model as well. So we can perform differential backups for any of the recovery model whether it's full, bulk logged or a simple recovery model. Let's go back to backup. So tasks and backup. So in order to take a differential backup, by, de by default it uh, defaults to the full um, database backup. So if we want to take a differential database backup, we can check the contents as well. So a full database was taken, full database backup was taken on this particular date for this database. So on 22-12-2020, uh, a full database backup was taken so from which we have uh, restored this database. So we, we already have a full database backup. Now what we want to do, we want to take a differential backup for this. So I will select differential from a list and in the backup component we select the database and uh, this is the default location where the file will get backup and we can uh, backup set name is given over here Northwind full database backup 
So under this backup set, this differential backup will get created. We can set the description of the backup set as well. Uh, we can specify when this uh, backup set will expire. In my case, I'm not uh, setting it to expire. So our destination would be disk uh, and not tape. Uh, tape device is uh, also not mentioned over here because uh, a tape device is not installed on this machine. So we are backing up to disk. Fine. And we can check the let's see there are some media options as well uh, we are going to specify you want to append to an existing backup set or do you want to overwrite all existing backup sets and we can also optionally check this checkbox uh, ch uh, check media set name and backup set expiration and we can also specify the media set uh, name in the text box once we check this option this gets highlighted All right. For now, we can leave these options. We are leaving the media file, media set name blank. So we'll uh, by default it depends to an existing backup set, and the backup set name is given over here. And instead of backing up to existing media set, we can back up to a new media set where a new media set name has to be given. This can be left blank. It's up to you. And uh, we can also select the reliability option to verify backup, whether it's backed up properly, backup file is created properly. We can check this option to verify backup upon its completion. And we can also select this option to perform checksum before writing to media. So it will first check the data before writing it to the media. And uh, there is also an option where we can uh, continue on any checksum errors uh, during the process. So here we have a tape drive section which is uh, not highlighted uh, because we don't have a tape drive installed on this machine. And generally nowadays we, are, we don't use tape drives. So I think we are fine here. And let me see if I can talk about uh, any other option. There, there are compression options as well. So under backup option, there is an option to compress the backups. Otherwise, it's going to use the system uh, server default settings, which are specified in the properties section. And we can also set not to compress the backups. So let's see, let's take a differential backup for this. Uh, we have selected our options and let's do a backup, which is differential. So the differential backup is taken. Uh, so let's check the SQL Server default location where the backup is taken. So we need to go to C drive, uh, we need to go to program files and Microsoft SQL Server, your instance, MySQL folder, backup. So this is the file which is uh, backed up uh, just right now, Northwind backup and it's a differential one. So you may select a name with the hyphen appended to it uh, written like differential, Northwind hyphen differential, you can take backup like that. So so you must know that this is a differential backup. Otherwise, uh, if you want to restore a certain database, so what if I restore a database? If I select the option to restore a database, I can select a device and I can select the backup. So if I select Northwind, 
let's do an okay on this so if I select this file it tells me I have two options in this backup set so one we had a full backup another one is differential which we have taken today so we have an option to select which all backups we want to restore under this backup sets so I'm not restoring anything at the moment but yeah backup set uh, keeps track of all the database backups uh, taken under that backup set so a full database backup for this uh, Northwind database was taken on 22nd of uh, December 2020 and now today we have taken the differential backup which is on 29th September 2022 so yeah a backup set contains all the backup details whatever backups we have taken under that backup set and the backup set name is coming over here Northwind full database backup is the backup set name all right so we have successfully taken a differential backup we can take another differential backup uh, using the transact SQL so let me do that and show you how you can do that so okay so query window is now open and we have so you can the SQL with me in order to gain better uh, understanding and practice of T-SQL so backup database is the basic statement where we are backing up the database so here we are backing up Northwind database so here I'm not taking the full backup I'm directly taking the differential backup so I'm mentioning the name as uh, to uh, Northwind I'm mentioning differential uh, all right I'm mentioning diff because differential is a keyword over here so can't use that and uh, you need to use the within it option all right so this is a statement you need to be using so you don't need to use within it just use with differential to in order to take a differential backup so this is the complete statement you need to execute to take a differential backup let's see how it takes so all right so this is an incorrect set, uh, statement so yeah minus cannot be used underscore can be used so let's take this So it is giving us our message uh, that uh, backup device so let's take the statement is incorrect little bit so let's take it to disk so where we can specify the storage uh, location for this uh, we want to take database backups under this uh, location so specify this and this should come under the quote, quotation marks within the quotation marks let's uh, put the complete path over here along with the file name so after backup put a slash and put the name of the file dot bak so basically we need to specify a device in this case we are specifying disk as the device and uh, let's take a backup now so yeah backup is taken successfully so you see the name of the differential backup we have mentioned the name of the file name so Northwind differential backup we have taken right now so guys uh, we have just shown you how you can uh, create a differential backup so you may uh, take down the notes uh, how you have to write a t sql statement so it starts with backup database and the name of the database and we need to specify which device we are taking backup on so we are taking a backup to a disk and we need to specify the location along with the file name and specify the with differential option to let system know that it's a differential backup so i think we are fine and we are done with this video uh, please do share your comment if you really like this video and click on the like button and guys please also subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to select all notifications to get uh, updates regarding my future videos and I thank you so much for your time on this video and your wonderful day ahead